Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I want to talk to you about the Tetrix Torknado replacement gearboxes. Now these go specifically for the motors, so that makes them part of the motion category of the Tetrix ecosystem. They are purposely made for the motor itself. There's no other use for that, so it, it, it's, uh, again, purposely designed for that. But what it's going to do is expand the uses of the motor. You change the gear ratio, so you're going to change the output characteristics of the motor itself. So you, with the lower gear range, you're going to actually improve the RPM, higher RPM, but actually uh, lower the torque rating. So again, the default is 60 to 1 on the torque meter motor. If I'm putting a 20 to 1 or we have a second range 40 to 1 uh, gear ratio uh, change, you're going to get higher RPM, lower torque. So in other words, if you have a drive system, uh, it, you don't need the extra uh, torque, but you want a higher RPM, you can replace these gearboxes and get that. Same uh, outside diameter of the mount itself, 37 millimeters, same size for the output shaft, a six millimeter D shaft. So those characteristics are gonna be exactly the same. The internal characteristics of the motors don't change, but the output characteristics, in other words, that RPM, torque rating, encoder counts, those parts are gonna change. Troubleshooting, remember, you, uh, if you uh, open these packages, they come with the mounting screws. You wanna make sure that when you open the package, you don't lose those. Those screws are small. You wanna make sure that you don't strip those when you actually tighten them onto the uh, motor uh, body itself. Alignment, it does have alignment pins. You wanna make sure that it is all in alignment when you actually tighten it on the, uh, mount it on the body of the motor. We will do another video that actually walks you through that, so uh, look for that. Um, which leads us to additional resources. If you go to the bottom of the product page, in other words, go to www.pitsco.com, search for the product, find that. At the bottom of every product page, all of the resource files that you need, things like CAD files, if you're gonna do 3D modeling and you need to have the CAD file, those are available at the bottom of the product page. Spec sheets, we talked about the changes in the, the uh, output uh, RPM, torque, encoder counts, all of that information is available in a spec sheet at the bottom of the product page. So, like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.